In this edition of Take It Out, the innovative building material that can repel water, dust, and even bacteria. NASA's ambitious plans to send astronauts back to the moon by 2024, for the first time since 1972. And a robotic hand, which can grab and move just like a human. Over 2,000 years ago, the Romans invented what we now know today as cement-based concrete. One of the world's most crucial building materials is also one of the most prone to environmental risks. With extensive exposure to air, rain, and pollution, concrete structures tend to get dirty, discolored, and fractured. But scientists have found the future cement to help keep buildings safe. Hydrophobic literally means fear of water. Dutch surfaces exist in nature, from lotus leaves to insects' winds. Their special structure and chemical makeup allow them to repel not only water, but also dust and pollutants. And scientists have been able to emulate this super hydrophobic surfaces in the lab for application to daily items like clothes and shoes. At the core of these products is a highly water repellent silicon polymer known as PDMS. But how does PDMS polymer work? To make an entire building water repellent is not as easy as slathering it on walls as you would with paint, because top layers would get worn away over time. What if PDMS is mixed with cement? Because your material so, how can it effectively get PDMS polymer into concrete? Professor Xu found the perfect carrier for this water-resistant substance is, wait for it, oil. But many of us know that oil and water don't mix. So how can this mixture happen to create self-cleaning concrete? Let me expound with my favorite summer treat. Well, ice cream is the perfect example of the marriage between oil and water, also known as emotion. Through the use of emulsifier, the process works by stabilizing a mixture of flues to help them unite and stay together. Therefore, it's not entirely true that oil and water don't mix. They can, with a little bit of help. 卤化完了以后，它就形成一种什么一种什么样子的结构呢？连续的这个水线中产生了大量的这种非常小的这个油滴。这个时候，我们就加入了这个这个水泥。我们再进行搅拌。Now those countless oil droplets, which carry hydrophobic particles, are everywhere in the slurry. When it is dried and heated, the oil droplets will evaporate and lifts behind those tiny pores coated with hydrophobic polymer. The end result is a lightweight, water-fearing, new concrete. It can repel dust, particles, and liquids other than water, including milk, beer, soil sauce, coffee, and colored water. From the surface to the inside, the material keeps a super hydrophobic quality, even after it's ground into powder. 我们的传统的这种多孔结构，它的孔差不多一个毫米左右，但是我们的这个减小了五十倍以上，它的孔越小，就是从它的隔热隔音的效果来说，它应该更有力。Regular concrete undergoes securing process for it to harden and gain strength, which involves days of keeping it moist with water. However, in the case of this new concrete, it is impossible to add water into it 
once the super hydrophobic surface has been generated. So researchers are now working to change this so the material can go through the same curing process as regular concrete, in turn making it stronger and more efficient. Scientists are also looking to enhance the material from being self-cleaning to medical level, where it can not only resist water and dirt, but also bacteria. Welcome to Science Saturday. I'm Kasturi Manikam. Today we look at science news ranging from global plastic waste to a new prosthetic hand. But first, an ambitious new plan to return astronauts to the moon in 2024. The program called Artemis is the first of its kind since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. It costs $28 billion and approval for this funding now falls to Congress. Once cleared, astronauts will be required to collect samples and conduct a range of science experiments. NASA says the program will help the United States establish a strategic presence in space and develop its international partnerships. More relief for limp amputees. Scientists have developed a prosthetic hand that can restore over 90% of functionality to people with upper limb amputations. It's based on the size, weight, appearance and natural grasping motion of a human hand. So this means it can grip and move like a normal hand. Researchers claim the prosthetic hand harness is ready for market and has been given regulatory approval. They are now finding investors to make it a reality. A new alarm for plastic pollution. Scientists say global plastic waste is on track to increase sixfold to 53 million metric tons by 2030. It is currently estimated that around 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enters the world's oceans, lakes and rivers every year. The finding suggests a 25 to 40 percent reduction in plastic waste along with a cleanup of 40 percent of annual emissions. The warning comes amid increasing concern about the rise in production of gloves, disposable masks and extra food packaging in response to the coronavirus. An exciting discovery beneath the South Pole on Mars. Scientists have discovered a network of salty ponds estimated to be 19 to 29 kilometers in size. They've also identified three smaller bodies of water surrounding the lake. The potential water raises the possibility of microbial life on or inside Mars. Researchers say future missions to Mars should target this area to better understand the Red Planet.